de El Boricua Edgar Berlanga, 22-0, 17-co, lleva mano entre los posibles rivales. Puerto Rican Edgar Berlanga is among the possible rivals for the return of four-time champion Canelo Alvarez. Jermel Charlo is another option, September 14th. No, God! No, God, please, no! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm posted. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, check this out, man. So, we got some big news um, coming out of uh, from Salvador Sanchez. I mean, Salvador Sanchez. Rest in peace to the late, great boxing legend Salvador Sanchez. Excuse me. We have some news coming from ESPN contributor Salvador Rodriguez. Salvador Rodriguez has just released some information regarding old cinnamon. You know what I'm talking about? Canelo Alvarez, man. So, do it. Saul Canelo Alvarez, you know, the uh, current face of boxing, man, you know, all-time great legendary fighter, still active, man. Talk about getting active. They're saying that he's supposed to be back active on September 14th or sometime around that day, you know, and his potential uh, uh, dancing, uh, uh, his, 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 his potential dance partners, you know, in the ring are none other than Big Charlo, Jamal Charlo, you know what I'm saying, or Edgar Belanga. <laughs> That's how he's dodging David Burrell. You know, most likely, you know, as it was as he was named first by Salvador Rodriguez, you know, uh, Puerto Rican fighter Edgar Berlango would probably be the choice of uh for, for 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 a dance partner you know on september 14th but potentially he's gonna fight the american fighter in 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 um jamal charlo the only thing about jamal charlo man you know i think from a competitive standpoint of course anybody in their right mind would prefer that would prefer to see jamal charlo versus Cadella, right that's a fight we want to see a long time ago however this is not a long time ago we're living in the present thank god for that and in the, in the present you know unfortunately you know jamal charlo who has openly admitted that he's going through some things mentally you know he's going through some mental health um uh, uh, uh troubles right now we should wish him the best you know but with that being said i'm not sure if you want to step up to fight you know a great fighter a legendary fighter in, in, in saul canelo Alvarez. you know what i'm saying i don't know if you know first of all that would that fight would have been great years ago when they're both at their peaks um you know it would have been a competitive fight regardless of who you had winning i would have leaned towards uh canelo but right now you know i think with uh last time we seen jamal charlo although he beat jose benavidez jr uh pretty convincingly it was still a smaller guy you know what i'm saying and he was coming off of a hiatus hell he's on a hiatus right now and i don't know if you want to come back and fight canelo when you're uh, not in the best headspace and fully committed to the sport. That's just my personal opinion, man. We should wish Jamal Charlo the best for him and his family and everything that he's going through because mental health, when it's real mental health, you know, and not the people faking uh, mental health issues when it's convenient to get them out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Um, if you paying attention to the current boxing landscape, you know, people playing around with mental health, there's nothing to play around with. You know, it's a very serious thing and we should respect those when they openly admit. Because it's a hard thing for, for people to admit too, you know, especially men um, in the world we live in. You know, it's hard for them to admit so when they do admit it, we should we should respect that and wish them the best and send prayers and well wishes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with that being said, unless Jamal Charlo um, wants to get that paper, you know, everybody wants to get that paper, right? I, I, I would prefer it to be Edgar Belanga because the current iteration of, of Jamal Charlo, I personally believe, is it is it is it fit, you know, uh, Maybe he's fit physically, but maybe he's not fit mentally, you know, more so mentally to to take on a challenger like Canelo. Now, like I said, I mean, hey, if he just wants to get that, get to that paper, get to that bag, then do your thing, Pippen. But as far as the competitiveness goes, I, I feel like Berlanga would be more committed to the sport right now. You know, um, even though I don't I think he's a lesser caliber fighter than Jamal Charlo, for sure. Um, now, with that being said, too, some people might be mad at Edgar Berlanga getting the fight, right, because they don't feel like he deserves it. Right. Of course, don't, there's nobody more deserving than a Canelo showdown. There's nobody more deserving of a Canelo showdown than David El Monstro Benavides. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. That's who we all want to see fight, right? As, as much as I love Canelo, I like David Benavides equally as much. I don't. I never feel compelled to pick a side. You know, I like them both. You know, I like boxing. And I do want them to fight, but, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that they're going to go. That's going to go down. You know, Canelo is looking like he's going to 
pick either Edgar Belong or Jamal Charles, and I believe that they're going to take advantage of the of the Puerto Rican versus uh, the Puerto Rico versus Mexico dynamic. You know, the Puerto Rico versus the Mexican dynamic. You know, what I'm saying I think they're going to take take advantage of that, and they're going to fight on, on September. And you know, there's some rumors saying that um, this is just a tune up fight for for you know to, to help prepare him. Uh, for a future showdown with David Benavidez or Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, both fights I'll be interested in. Um, and both fights, I think Canelo would come out on top. But, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Would y'all rather see uh, 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 Canelo versus um, Jamal Charlo or Canelo versus Edgar Berlanga? Or you don't really give a damn <laughs> because it ain't David Benavidez. I feel that sentiment, too. But, you know, I, I think there's plenty of great fights uh, for Canelo and Dave Benavidez that don't involve them being in the same ring with each other. You know what I'm saying? That's just my personal opinion. I, I like the I like Cinnamon versus Jaime Munguia. Of course, it's not. It wasn't Dave Benavidez. So people are going to be disappointed by default just because of that. But now nah, Jaime Munguia uh, and, 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 and Canelo was a good was a good fight. Um, so I, I, me personally, like I said, for the for the for the reasons I listed, I believe that Edgar Belongo would probably be a better fight right now. But if Jamal Charlo could prove that he's on his game. Then of course I'd rather see Jamal Charlo. I think he's a he, that that'd be a more competitive fight. You know what I'm saying? I think he has a better chance of giving Canelo a run for his money. Even though I think Canelo either way comes out on top. But yeah, I appreciate y'all me as always, man. Uh, don't forget to like the video, and um, more importantly, don't forget that with God we can do anything. Without God we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.